Yes, sir. One chapter and over 50 public wind challenge and represented India as the Modi. He has also been ranked as NET's AIM activities and Tamil. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. It shows.
Every has to think about innovation. Otherwise, you cannot move forward. And the word comes from Latin. Innovare means to complete, to make something new. Now, we also have to understand that all inventions are innovations, but all innovations need not be inventions. Any invention is a new thing. It's a new product or a new service or a new, uh, new kind of process. So that is definitely new and it is an innovation. But every innovation need not be an invention. You can have a better method to do things. Right? That is also a new process you develop. That also can be an innovation. Already there is an existing process. You improve a new process. You have a new technology adapted so that things become faster. Let us take a parking system. You know, uh, you have seen the Russian malls, right? When you go to a big mall, sometimes so crazy to go for par parking. You know, you have to drive all across for parking. But if you have a smart system for helping the automated parking, giving you indication where it is available. Uh, there is nothing new about it. It is just an intelligence. So that's a new process. And that is also an innovation. I already told you innovation is needed. World is, world is very volatile. World is, world is uncertain, complex and ambiguous. VUCA. Today's world is characterized by the VUCA world. VUCA means volatility, uncertainty, complexity, ambiguity. Things are all confusing complex complicated there is tremendous competition there is pricing pressure your competitors are always trying to destroy you there is complete access to the information the customer is the king customer if you do not provide the service or the product somebody else will give you the product and it is all freely available the information is freely available in the, in the internet and the world wide web social media things are easily viral so if you are having a product or a service if you do not innovate if you do not stay ahead of the curve if you do not um, um, uh, uh, you know 
they do things better than your competitor you will be out of the business the customer has full access if you do not provide the service there are 100 others who will provide the service and that information is freely available it's not that you know everything is available on social media and everything is available on the internet and so on and uh, thankfully india today has uh, you know there is a big trust towards innovation in india as, as i told you you know india is now 46 uh, because many of the government agencies uh, have been focusing on innovation whether it is the ministry of education is focusing on innovation in a big way in your college there is an iaac an institutes innovation council which is uh, one of the units that is driving innovation in schools there are atal tinkering labs that are driving innovation likewise every ministry is focusing on uh, improving and driving innovation and we are able to see the result today india is a startup nation uh, you know there are like 75000 high technology indian startups today it's one of the highest in the whole world and uh, are, in in terms of number of unicorns we have more than 100 and plus i think it is 100 and 15 plus unicorn a unicorn as you know is a company which has got a 1 billion dollar uh, uh, valuation uh, in terms of the market uh, uh, capital 1 billion dollars and today we have 100 plus unicorns which i think is third in the world uh, and uh, uh, you know uh, it's really a great thing that you know india is becoming a startup nation youngsters are starting companies government is focusing uh, uh, to improve uh, innovation government is supporting these um, startups and you know there so many names are there i think now one of these ola by ju flipkart zomato these are only the old ones now every day you are hearing a new name and uh, which is becoming a, a unicorn yeah now how innovation is linked to entrepreneurship entrepreneurship so innovation is something making something new making something um, a new product a new process a new uh, technology a new service and it is this innovation that drives entrepreneurship today i have already told you we are living in a vuca world every competition is peers every sphere every sector there is so much of competition now how do you stay ahead of the curve how do you stay ahead of the competition it is only through innovation and it is through this innovation that today entrepreneurship is uh, flourishing now before i go into these examples uh, see we know the uh, the 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 this is part of the it history it folklore you know how bill gates dropped out of college uh, um, uh, uh may went to ibm and said that i will make you a operating system at that point of time ibm never ever thought that uh, you know uh, the pc the personal computer which was developed at ibm then they thought you know ibm thought okay we will be selling a few thousand or 10000 uh, pcs personal computers i'm talking 30 years back 35 years back but ibm never knew, thought that this pc will be built in thousands or 10000 but i pc started selling in millions because everybody wanted a computer and every single time ibm sold a pc bill gates made money microsoft made money because bill gates provided the ms dos the operating system and the story goes that that ms dos was not developed at by him he went to some other company he took bought that company to their own yes and then reengineered deengineered reengineered and brought out ms dos now now you know the rest is history but today we are not in that situation right we are not in a situation where somebody can you know start making millions of new devices it's not so easy that time has passed right at that point 30 years back there was no competition he was the only person making operating systems he became one of one of the world's richest men windows became all encompassing and so today is that the situation today no today the situation is very very different there is tremendous competition uh, there is tremendous uh, pricing pressure 
there is complete act information is available everywhere and anywhere you cannot hide anything so these kind of situations are very very different and that is why innovation has to be linked to entrepreneurship if entrepreneurship has to flourish you need innovation just to give you a couple of examples of how innovation has driven these major companies today the uh, data is the new oil 150 to 200 years back people were moving to uh, oil rich locations you know san francisco valley that's the where silicon valley is there today the uh, san francisco became famous for oil people went and struck oil and then they, that is how that cluster became very um, uh, you know uh, famous later that cluster became famous for silicon right uh, people are were thronging to the gulf mid middle east because oil was there saudi arabia uh, iraq um, united arab emirates so uh, people were so oil was the premium now the, that has changed to data today people want data data is the new oil now just to give you the power of innovation give you a few examples facebook today there are 2 billion monthly users of facebook 2 billion users one out of four people in the planet have got a facebook account imagine the the power today if facebook was a country as a largest country in the world population of china is 1.4 billion india is 1.3 billion facebook is 2 billion people are on that community can imagine the power of that and the most interesting part of that is that facebook is a is an intermediary facebook has emerged as the largest media company in the entire world with 2 billion monthly users but interestingly facebook does not create any content the content that is posted on facebook is created by you and me we are the people creating the content we are putting our images photographs videos our art our uh, life whatever photographs and so on so largest media company in the world does not create any content but the content is sourced from you and me through this platform isn't this innovation without spending billions of dollars it is creating not creating content it is just having a platform another thing example uber uber has got every month 100 million rides happen on uber 100 million car rides happen on uber every single month and none of these 100 million cars are owned by uber uber does not own any of these cars these cars are somebody some taxi wala some uh, Uh, entrepreneur who bought cars and uh, put drivers and connected to uber app and uber uh, technology it's a large maximum number of cars are available with uber but they do not own any of the cars the cars do not uh, belong to you so it's you can say it's the largest car company in the world but they don't own any car that is how the power of innovation alibaba every day alibaba sells more goods than all the walmarts put together if you have gone to the us and seen a walmart walmart is a giant yeah maybe to some extent in india big bazaar or something is similar but walmart is probably any walmart is 5 to 10 times bigger than a um, uh, big bazaar but alibaba without having a single shop without having any branch or any shop in any mall or any place Alibaba is uh, selling more than all the WalMarts together. That is also the power of innovation. So innovation is today very much intrinsically linked to entrepreneurship. If entrepreneurship has to happen, you need innovation. Today's world, ten years, twenty years back, you uh, luck, luck, and no competition. If you are lucky and you have no competition, if your stars are right. you can be successful today it's not like that even if your stars are right 
you have tremendous com competition tremendous pressures and uh, only innovation is the move forward so today any company whether it is a uh, i'm giving you an it example but if you are a hospital if you are a law firm if you are a university a college if you are a car company an automobile company it doesn't matter only if you are able to innovate can you move forward so what is a recipe for innovation i can only give you some pointers i mean uh, of course never stop learning you have to always be learn always consider yourself to be a beginner every day new ideas come new ideas go see today um, as i mentioned there are 100 unicorns and almost 1 lakh um, startups maybe 75000 is registered there may be another 20 to 50000 startups which are not registered which are in some stage of registration so out of 100000 only 100 have become unicorns that means 99999 900 have not become unicorns right may maybe 99000 have got very good ideas we don't know there may be better ideas there may be better ideas than make my trip but make my trip is very successful there may be much better ideas than byju but byju is so successful so what is the recipe there is no universal recipe but there are some pointers for success some pointers some idea because one is never stop learning taking a risk see the is a very famous saying biggest risk in life is not to take a risk at all i will repeat the biggest risk in life is not to take a risk at all if you do not take a risk anywhere you will never reach anywhere you have to take calculated risks in life and sometimes they be successful sometimes they are unsuccessful right growth mindset all the time you have to think about growth you cannot have a fixed mindset always you have to have a growth mindset how can you develop there will be problems there will be challenges there will be obstacles and if you go on complaining there will be criticism people will always say oh no no don't do don't do don't do. that kind of thing will be there so there will be obstacles there will be challenges there will be criticism there will be prob people pulling you down hurting you but how do you get out of that get out of that and move forward growth mindset mistakes very important you know this is a uh, thomas alva edison he uh, he revolutionized uh, revolutionized many industries including the electrical uh, the electric bulb the cinematograph so many innovations came from his table but uh, people do not know that you know when he made a light bulb he failed 1300 times see if uh, you know uh, 1300 times he failed but then he went on persevering he learned from the mistake celebrating the mistakes very these are things that you know uh, are extremely important on how you know to promote innovation and entrepreneurship make things happen you have to be a doer you know either you can be part of the problem or you can be part of the solution better to be always part of the solution rather than the problem nobody will drive things things don't happen on their own you have to make things happen of course creativity everybody may or may not have creativity but there are people who may be extremely creative there may be people who are not so creative but then they can always collaborate with the people who are creative and move things done that is what networking and collaboration See, you nobody is perfect in everything there is nobody like that you may not be so creative but you know somebody is creative if you are smart you hire him and get things done networking and collaboration without that you cannot move forward the world is a so these are some simple empathy and compassion see we have to empathize today people are talking about design thinking what is design thinking design thinking is uh, you know understanding what the user needs the perspective of the end user is the empathizing with him understanding his problem understanding his aspirations is empathy 
people are talking about design thinking design thinking is nothing but empathy you 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 go into the shoes of the user the end user the customer understand what he wants and very important compassion see we we somehow get lost we get lost in our in, in uh, trying to go for success when we are lost among success in our quest for success we forget about the people we do not show compassion we have to understand that you know the human talent is the most important talent so you can uh, equipment is available you can buy but talent is not available all the time unless you are compassionate to your um, uh, your your employees your stakeholders it will not work hey, why do many of these startups fail people are you know they ill treat people they mistreat people people leave people become uh, rather than becoming your ambassadors they become your enemies and they they also pull the company down you have seen hundreds and hundreds of students so these are simple things you know publicize this is my own you know whatever you do publicize document it and today luckily there are a lot of new platforms also you know whether it is linkedin you may think oh what is it see every single day i post something on my linkedin on my uh, facebook and linkedin some people i uh, have been telling me oh, why are you doing this it is self promotion yes to some extent the self promotion you cannot imagine the amount of consulting opportunities that i have got just because i have just put it somebody contacted from somewhere in, including international things you never know you know you publicize things is available on the media it need not be the web media or web. it can also be social media but you know publicize what you do so these are simple steps very very simple steps learn continuously never stop learning take calculated risks have a growth mindset so that you are able to act, uh, address the challenges the obstacles and you uh, and also face the criticism get the feedback accept the feedback learn from your mistakes make things happen be creative network and collaborate with everybody and anybody show empathy and compassion to your uh, to all the people and finally publish this this is a, a kind of a very short recipe for innovation we have to understand that innovation is not a linear process it's not a straight line your your students in uh, university in colleges it's not a straight forward thing there will be ups and downs it's a tumbling it's not so easy for you to have uh, move from basic research to applied research to development and commercialization it's not so easy it's a myth this uh, innovation is not a simple journey it is not a it's like always a journey with ups and downs and when you are moving towards commercialization and entrepreneurship you it is not a linear it's a totally non linear process there will be ups and downs there will be uh, uh, plus and minus there will be gaps there will be uh, um, hits there will be misses there will be luck there will be no luck all these are part of the game so if you develop this kind of uh, you know this this recipe never stop learning take calculated risks have a growth mindset celebrate your mistakes learn from your mistakes make things happen be creative network and collaborate show empathy and compassion and finally publicize what you do project what you do you know this is a kind of a sure shot formula for success and this innovation only moves on to uh, you know uh, entrepreneurship now i'll uh, stop with this uh, i'll take this also uh, thought i should just tell you about how a technology moves so uh, you are all college students you have been having some ideas uh, you may have some you may have developed some projects some products some uh, prototypes some proof of concepts and so on to and to explain how this journey is not linear that journey is full of ups and downs i will just give you a quick overview of what is known as the technology readiness levels so you have an innovation you have an idea 
you have a prototype you have a product where do you stand in terms of the technology readiness now we have to also understand why this is important today if you take in india number of college students are in millions i think there are say 15 million students pursuing engineering education even if you take uh, say 15 million divided by 4 that is to say uh, 15 to 20 million 4 for 3 to 4 million students are doing a final year of engineering out of that perhaps we have 1 million projects that are being done in the final year. Many students do projects in the third year, second year, first year. That's a different thing. But let us just take the final year projects. Perhaps close to 1 million projects are being done. If you assume that a, a team has got four or five people, approximately 1 million projects. From this 1 million projects, how many are just ideas? How many of them are moving to the proof of concept? Very few. I don't know the number. How many are moving from a proof of concept to a prototype? Maybe from millions, it will run into a few thousand. From prototype, how many of them are moving to a product? I am sure that number will be in hundreds. Less than hundreds, maybe a few hundreds. And from these prototypes, products, how many of them are becoming startups? I am telling you, dear students, the number is not in three digits this is less than three digits less than 100 we have seen you no know, smart india hackathon 1.5 million uh, students have participated in the last five years barely 20, 30 to 40 startups have come up that is because innovation is non-linear innovation really will be having ups and downs innovation will be having bumps you have to navigate that and one way is using what is known as a TRL level. The orange, the one, two, three is more or less proof of concept. The blue is prototype and the, the dark blue is MVP or minimum viable product. It's a simple way to say you build an idea, you have a simple idea, you have not developed it into anything. You just have an idea that is TRL one basic principle. Now you take this idea and build it into a concept you identify what are the things equipment what are the equipment needed what are the uh, hardware software what are the components needed what are the machinery needed that is technology level two readiness level two concept now you make these things and make a proof of concept that is technology readiness level three trl three Again, you are nowhere. You are only have an idea. You have built an idea, made it into a concept, developed it into a proof of concept. Proof of concept is not equal to a prototype. Only when you uh, validate it in the lab in various conditions, put it in the environment and demonstrate it, it becomes a at least a simple or a basic prototype. So only when you reach TRL six. You have actually got something like a working prototype. Again, that's not over. So first three levels, proof of concept. Next three levels, working prototype, not final prototype. Mind you, it is not final prototype. Then you take that working prototype, you demonstrate it in an operational environment, do a testing, qualification, have the end user check the things, and then deploy it and demonstrate it in a final in an actual environment after nine levels of trl only we get what is known uh, we get what is known as the uh, the actual basic product mvp minimum viable product then after mvp there are many steps before it goes to a product or a startup so you see the complexity and the, the risk in the first three levels is very high. The cost is also very high. Then the cost and the risk progressively reduces when you move from four, five, six, the cost reduces and the risk also reduces. In fact, 80 to 90% of the cost is done in the six levels and 90% of the risk is also finished in the first six levels. That is what we see in this slide. So what I'm trying to say is that Innovation, entrepreneurship is not an easy job. 
it's not a uh, a cake walk it is full full of tumbles ups and downs tumbling and bumping all that is part of life and see how you need nine levels to reach a minimum viable product nine levels are there before you reach that product then you commercialize the product sell the product market the product sales uh, distribution and then you make profit so you see how so uh, i want to close with uh, my talk uh, to say that you know innovation today innovation is new product new process new systems new pro uh, things only the innovation is there we can uh, go delve into entrepreneurship today today entrepreneurship requires innovation otherwise it's not possible so it is always you know this is, i want to close with this when it doesn't feel right go left everybody is uh, if you see this diagram you know everybody is going right but you turn left that is the path of the innovator that is the path of the entrepreneurship uh, thank you very much i'll be happy to answer some questions uh, over to the organizers thank you Any, uh, any questions? Nobody is responding. Hello, sir. Yeah. As a, uh, sir, I am second year, sir. As a student. How ah, is okay. it, sir? How is it, sir? How yeah, is it, sir? How is it, sir? See, I am telling you. வர்க்கிங் See, that's why you, know, you need to know the qualities that I told you. Risk, you know, whatever I told you in the presentation, taking risks, uh, you know, all those things. That is the only way for an entrepreneur. And every entrepreneur's, every innovator's journey is different. They have to succeed in the path, they have to find out that you have to succeed in the path. It's a different process, right? Every entrepreneur's journey is different. you have to understand your challenges your bumps your ups and downs sometimes the i uh, the sometimes the the failings of the other entrepreneur may help you sometimes they may not i have seen that also you know some you you take the precautions but that may not work out so it's all you have to figure out the journey you have to go on a journey but the most important thing is you decide i want to go for a journey once you go for that journey automatically things will Sir, good morning, sir. Nice to meet you. Yeah. Sir, I'm Bhavanita yeah. from second year. I have a question, actually. Yeah. How yeah. to make an innovation as a business? See, uh, once you have an innovation, you go through these nine TRLs, technology level uh, uh, levels. So uh, after nine levels, you have what is known as an MVP, minimum viable product. Now. once this mvp comes that means you have a a good application you have a product now 
um, uh, uh, there is no doubt about the fact that the technology is working. Elena and the product will not be there. You have gone through these uh, nine levels. Your product has passed the test, and in, uh, in terms of the technology readiness, so those nine levels it has succeeded. There is no problem. So you have an MVP or a minimum viable product. Now the challenge is different. Technology has been proved; it is okay. Now the focus is to for the marketing aspect. How this MVP you have to now have an operational and marketing plan. You you have a product. Now you need to think. Okay, now I have to. I have a good technology. It's a proven technology. It is tested. The TRL level is nine. Now how do I take it to the market? Go to the market. That is the important thing. As a student, what you can do is. If you are interested in being an entrepreneur, you know, go to uh, join. Almost all colleges have got an incubation center, so you decide. Okay, I am not going to go for a placement. I am going for an incubation. Join. Um, uh, some colleges even give pre-incubation. When you are studying in final year itself, they will give you some pre-incubation support. So once you join an incubator, they will help you in all the administrative processes. You know, registration of the company. um helping you mentoring you connecting you to investors uh, connecting you to the patent uh, at the attorneys and uh, this thing and so that your uh, ip protection is there your company legal protection is there then the the question is they can even uh, assign you mentors to help you uh, you know build a good uh, marketing plan financial plan so that journey is different but the, this can only start when you have an mvp or a minimum viable product so this is a journey but as i told you every person's journey is unique just because um, uh, somebody succeeded there need not if you follow the same strategy it may or may not work you have to figure out your journey on your own that's all i can say hello sir yeah so can't how hear to you. bring our innovation into market Yeah. See, as I told you, you know, see, uh, today uh, uh, the best thing is to connect uh, with an incubator. Connect with an incubator, and um, uh, you know the, the connect with an incubator to help you to go to the market part. Now, uh, rather than you, you see, you figuring it out on your own is very difficult. Can imagine? You no, know, you have a product. you have to find a space for your company you have to register you have to pay salary you have to have a space you have to do legal means you have to register your company there are many registrations there tax gst legal patenting this is all complicated if you are having a high technology company as you want a high product high technology product best thing is to go through an incubator incubator will do all the help and you don't have to pay anything now when you when you become successful only the, there are many models with uh, within an incubator they may not ask you for money immediately they may just ask you for some mini monthly rent or some monthly services uh, as such just give me a minute uh, one minute
I am sorry, uh, the pre director of the campus just called some emergency regarding convocation. Yeah, tell me uh, anything else? Any other question? No, sir. Huh? Okay. Okay, then. Thank you. All the best. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. It is such a honor for me. Uh, sorry, sir. Uh, hello? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. So, uh, so there is no queries in uh, from our student side. Yeah. So it is a thank. Uh, thank you very much, sir. Yeah. Thank you. It is such, it a, is such a honor for me to get the opportunity to thank the dignitary. I extend my gratitude to our honourable teacher, Dr. Prashant R. Noyer, who takes out the time for his busy schedule to grace the event. Thank you for inspiring and encouraging us with your words. I would like to express my gratitude to everyone for this presence and contribution to make this webinar a great success. Okay, thank you. Then bye. All the best. Bye.